This is gonna be the first fucking. We're in a car. This is gonna be the first video on the Crypt Sports Channel. Uh, this is my cousin Brock, and this is my other cousin Drew, and we're gonna try to play some frisbee golf and see what the shit happens. So we'll see you at the course. The camera's over here. Oh, I didn't press stop. All right, Drew. Let's see how suck you are. You suck. Look at him. Being the nice little teacher boy. That's the intro right there. You just did the thumbnail. Good job. There we go. We at least made one basket in the practice round. Oh! Who is this? 60 footer? 45, 50 feet. It ain't 60. If I ran these 60 foot bases in Little League, I'd have been, I'd have been real good. Hey. All right, Brock, how you feeling today? Um, with the first few throws, not very good. All right, here we are. We are at hole number one. Jeff uh, it's a par Sol three, Jeff 270 Sol foot. So it's hard to really see with this, with this phone down here, but uh, the hole is, so it's right there. Uh, we got Brock gonna lead us off here. End of a crow. Old, old nobody gives a shit what disc we're throwing. Everybody gives a shit. Literally nobody knows. Yeah, you're right. Big, big boy. Oh, I banked off that tree back there. All right, uh, Drew. I guess you can feel me. I got you. Ace run right there. <laughs> Just kept gliding. I was like, "Hold up, hold up!" Ace run on the camera. Did you good? Miss that tree? Woo! I think it's just a touch short. Really good though. Really good line. He goes forehand because he's not very good at backhand. Yeah, I'm gonna try backhand here. A little too much. Are you keeping that stick with you all day, or is it, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I just keep, how the fuck did that happen? It just got down between my shoelaces. <laughs> just gonna keep that with you? So you're, uh, you play one hole, you just whip through, and you end up with a cut on your leg. How did that happen? Yeah, just figure out how to throw it. No. No, don't, don't hop. Yeah, it's just Start. a big step is all you gotta do. Start with your left. Start with your left foot. Left, right, behind. Hop, then you kind of get out of all, all out of whack. There you go. And it's Heisering back. Good shot. That really was a good shot. I just try to throw it a little bit harder. Good. All right, now you're ready. All right, Drew's right here looking at a birdie. Let's see if you can pull it off here, buddy, old pal. All right, it flew out just a little bit. You just gonna make me pick up all this shit? All right. How? Oh, hold up! That's me right there, that gray one right there. I'm fucking right there underneath the basket. Hey, I birdied the first hole. I'm fucking happy. I birdied the first fucking hole. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we are. Hole number two, par three. They're all par threes. I don't know why I keep going to this. 309 feet. There's a little creek. There's people on the bridge that Drew's probably gonna hit the holes back. Fucking shit. Holes back there. Oh, oh! Hold on. Oh my gosh! I don't Are you even recording my shot? I don't think you had it recording. For You're your shot. recording my shot. It's probably a good thing because it wasn't very good. Oh, well, that one's probably in bounds. I think that one was landed on the bridge. <laughs> Shitty. God dang! It's up there on the hill. Yeah, we found a disc on the course that is not ours, and it's a really expensive one. That's the best disc golf player in the world. And uh, we're doing the right thing. We're gonna call the number that's on the inside and give it to him. Don't show the number, but you know, we'll, we'll call him. Hey, Chris, uh, this is Brock. Uh, we're out here playing. We found a disc that had this number on it. So uh, if you're at hole two, Hole two, the pavilion that's up to the right side. I'm gonna stick that disc underneath the trash can that's on your far right as you're walking up to it. Hopefully nobody will find it. That's where it'll be for you. 
appreciate it. See you. Kind of sucks because this is a really yeah, good disc. It's a really disc. nice disc. Hopefully but, he doesn't call back. All right, well, here's my shitty throw. It's already recording. You don't have to stop it at all, buddy. That went bad. I just want to point out, I threw it under the bridge. Did you see that? No. Didn't mean to do it, but I did it. No, I was I too busy looking. the rails of the bridge. That was completely by accident. I threw it under this first rail and it went over the second rail. That's not bad at all. Fuck yeah, Drew. Brock, will you throw me that green putter? Oh! Nice layup. Well, he's up on his way up there. I'm right here. Oh! Whoa, little first person action. We're good. Uh oh. And a little past. That's all right. Should be nothing but a formality now. Just grab it. So it. Yeah, just what I figured. On to the next. All right, here we are. Hole three. Uh, I took a stroke, so I'm back to even. Brock, are you even now? Yeah, two pars. Two pars. So Drew? I'm like fucking I think you're one over. Two over or something like that, I don't know. You, you parred that last one, didn't you? Did he make his putt? Yeah. He made his tap in. Made his tap in? One to the, one to the fence. Uh, the I drop. Yeah, I forgot about the drop. Yeah. All right, so three Drew's, Drew's three over. I'm even. Brock's even. Through two. So... Hole number three, it's right down there. It's a short par three, it's 185. Yeah, part, it's just this basket right here. Okay. Yeah, I lost a disc here the other day, so don't do that. Especially that one, because it's mine. Hey, nice little safe bet right there. Decent kick, not bad. <laughs> and we got Brock, he's probably gonna lay it within five. It's got the yellow crow. It's gonna blend right just a little bit, then come back left. Pretty much exactly what the fuck I just said. Oh, here I am. I got the camera and I'm leaning trying to help it come back. <laughs> Coming up on Drew's disc right here. I don't know how the fuck I got caught carrying the bag since I haven't lost a hole yet. Well, that's cool. Let's see if Drew can nail this for a birdie right here. <laughs> a little long. Should be able to make that one. You should be able to type that in. Hey, are any of you guys named Chris? By chance, yeah, that's we found your disc. Oh, really? uh, Paul McBeth disc. Had to do some phone maintenance. Uh, but Drew, this is your birdie shot right here, right? No, this is your par shot. <laughs> About as good as I can do right there. Proud of that. Is that your tap in? You still haven't put in because you're an asshole? Uh, he wasn't filming. All right, Brock's one up now. Or he's one under. I'm still even. Drew. Four over. Shitty. You're just not doing good today, are you? It's okay. Four over. Right today. <laughs> First time ever. <laughs> Listen, I'm just fucking with him, all right? All right, where are we at? Hole four. Where's it's uh, 260. Uh, yeah, it's up there to the left. Got a nice family over here having a picnic. The amount of times I've heard that. Do whatever's natural. There you go. There you go. There you go. Look at you. And it's gonna. What the fuck? You sure you never played before? You playing hooky right now? You just fucking. <laughs> what is that called? You hustling us right now? There's a disc that nobody cares about. I'm watching him throw it in the fucking basket. A little left of the basket. Not bad, not bad. Throwing a diamond. His favorite disc in the bag right now. Little high coming back right, fade back for him. Should be parked. Well, just a touch, just a touch short, but it should be great. 20 feet up maybe? 20 foot, inside circle one anyways. Yeah, coming up on Drew's shot right here, and we're 30 foot out maybe. Anyone else would probably make this putt? That's all of us, like we, none of us would make this putt. This is an easy pro putt. And you've laid it up. You know, listen, first legitimate par. How does that feel? Feels good. It does. It should feel good, Drew. Congratulations. I'm about, I'm about 20 out, no, about 15 out maybe. 
and I'm gonna miss this putt just to show, give Drew some uh, gratification here. I'm just gonna miss it for you, okay? Okay. Looking at 35 out, 40 out. All right, missed it just a little bit. All right, looks like we all, we're all looking at par right here. So we're gonna go with lefty swag and uh, barely make that. Drew, you go ahead and plop yours in. And then old BJ down there, we're gonna plop that in. We're all looking at par, par, par. That's our, what do they call that? When everybody birdies? It's a par frame. We don't have star frames, we have par frames. That's our star frame, bro. Listen up. We all parred, I'm, I'm happy with that. Here we are, we're walking up on number five. It looks 266, par three. Uh, it's just straight down there. And if you throw it too far, you throw it into a murder scene. So don't throw it too far. <laughs> it plays a lot less than 266. It's yeah. Straight downhill, a little downwind. Yeah, don't throw it too far, Drew. Yeah, it's my fucking disc. I'm not gonna be happy. And he got the step and, dude, I am super proud of you right now. Like it wasn't that far down there, but it was straight in the middle of the fairway. I just, and you've never played before. Never played before. Never played before. And just nice little easy shots. Proud, proud, proud cousin at the moment. And then this guy's just gonna be an asshole. Show him up. This is looking good. Oh, got a nice head win right there. Pushed him up a little bit. That was that unlucky. That was gonna be really good. Yeah, that was not a lucky throw right there. I like that out of the hand. Little Annie going off to the side because it's a stable disc. Come back left. <laughs> it said, nope. <laughs> Understable. Please work left. Hit the tree. And I think it's 40 feet into the lake. I didn't think that was going to be a good idea at the start. Well, you know. We're throwing high speed drivers on a 266 foot hole. Looks good. Sits down. Don't go in the lake behind the basket. Look good. I'm really sad. I guess I uh, cue the Titanic music. Fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Got a low ceiling right here. Yeah, that that's the epitome of life. Is that a double? Oh yeah. All right, Drew. Wow, that looks really. Not bad. All right, got a low ceiling right here. Let's see what you can do with it. Not running it. I'm just gonna You're not going to run it? No. All right, he's just going to park it right there. Then you got Drew back here. He's going to slam this par putt right here, I suppose. All righty. Back to back par? Back to back pars for you guys. And I doubled. Just like my shirt. Double fat ass. All right, here we go. On to the next one. Yeah, Drew's, he's, he's playing it smart right now. All right, we're back at another par three. I'm just gonna say that every time, every single hole is a par three, but it's 257, goes around the bend, uh, and it's up there by the other hole that we had where there were some rocks and shit where we met the people where we found their disc. Drew is four up, four over through five holes. Brock is one over. I'm one under. You're one under. Yeah. Okay, and I am now, I'm two over. That four pars and a bird. Yeah, I'm two over because my dumb ass threw the Frisbee 40 feet into the lake. All right, Drew. Don't throw my frisbee into the lake, please. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's see, my bad. I mind, I mind fucked you. Well, my frisbee's in the lake. Trespass. Trespass. Another disc nobody cares about. That's what you were worried about last time. <laughs> Ooh, looking good. Yeah. Got a nice skip. Might be pretty solid. Yeah, it's a little short, but take it his favorite disc is now in the lake so but good thing is we have another disc that's the exact same disc and this isn't it so but that's not it but just in case he wants to throw that one again we have another one that's the exact same out to the right through the tree well tried to go through the tree didn't go through the tree dropped straight down but he's in play should have a good look at par what are your thoughts i'm still kind of flabbergasted at my decision making skills not looking good today um, you know, I'm, I'm two over. Rock is one under, so he's three above me. You're just gonna stop recording in the middle of my interview. No, oh, I thought you were just pressing the button. Uh, it's <laughs> not looking too good, but you know, I, I face adversity my whole life, so I think I can get through this. We can. Yeah. Uh, we got a whole, we got a whole colony of kids up there on that rock. Oh, nobody hits them. I don't know if you can see them. Amount of mosquitoes and gnats right here. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Try not to hit any of the children standing directly in front of the basket. There's a solid. How many kids are there? Like eight. <laughs> 
There we go. Be an athlete, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Thank you, family. Oh, he, Drew's going to hit him anyway. No. You scared him in one of them. All right, he came back a little bit. There you go. That's not bad. All right, let's go all the way back here to mine. I got a low ceiling right here. So, uh, let's see what they can do. Right now. Make this shit. What? What do you know? Butter? Well, you're questioning me now, so now I have to do it. And the frisbee hit the branch and rolled straight into the lake. Part two. Oh, oh, he got it. He got it. I, I tracked it the whole way. He threw a thrower. That was a thrower. Actually, no, it was just. It was a shitty throw, is what it was. Ooh, pretty shot. There's Drew's par putt. Ooh, barely lipped in there. Nice. Three pars in a row. That is a good putt. I'm gonna miss mine. Drew, can you give me a putter? Thank you. All right. Bad. <sighs> Damn, two over back-to-back -back holes. Me and Drew are tied. It's never played before. Don't press, don't press it All right, hole seven. Another par three, go figure. 240 feet. Uh, gotta throw through some trees down there. You can see the basket right there. All right, Drew, let's see what you got going here. Little nose up, he got through. It's gonna fall down just a little bit right there. That's not bad. We got Brock right here, gonna throw this crow. Uh, if he gets it through these trees, it should be a pretty nice shot. He's gotta worry about this middle tree right here, I think is the one he's concerned about. Cause this one, it kind of goes right and then comes back left. Oh. All right, looks like uh, left tree, God dang it. Looks like I might have a chance here. Something understable, probably be your best bet. Let it finish to the right, but don't flip it hard cause it's only 240. Straight downhill, water behind. Oh, Gotta sit. Gotta sit. That's on the other side of the creek. I'm closer than you guys. What are we all shooting right now? Me and Drew are tied at four over. Rocks it. One under. One under. I love how right after my interview, I said I'd get through adversity and then just fucking threw it straight in the water. All right, we're well, moving on down here then. All right, Brock right here with his crow. We're looking at about 110 out downhill. Not bad, it's probably about 20 out. Drew, how you feeling? I am feeling like I'm at the did you just, Did you just shit talk me? I don't know. You were walking away, which is probably a smart thing to do. Don't fuck this one up. <laughs> That's going in. Laid it right up there for another par. Man, my man Drew, four pars in a row. I wish you guys could see the amount of fucking gnats right now. This is unreal. There's a random phone and some flip flops right here. That's cool. Oh, another cell phone, another charger. The things you find out in the middle of a disc golf field. This is typical. I think uh, anybody that ever plays disc golf, you'll find some cell phones out in the middle of the field somewhere. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to film for myself again because these fucking assholes don't give a shit about me. But uh, All right, those people are looking at me weird because I'm filming my phone, but it's fine. All right, so that guy got his disc. That's where we laid it out earlier. All right, so I accidentally turned off the power button as soon as I threw. Uh, it was a shitty shot. Go figure. All right, here's Drew. Going to make his par putt. All right, just slamming it home. Ooh, lip right out. And then me, I'm way the fuck back here. He's a little upset. Fuck! All right, Drew's got the tee box. Brock and I just bogeyed. I'm five over. Drew is four over. Brock is back to even. I just threw it through the basket. All right, up to hole number eight. It's par three, 195. The hole's in these trees. It's literally impossible to get in close to it. It's right in there. All right. That's the Drew I know. Ooh, he's throwing it right towards it. Just haven't hit that small little tree right there. Threw way left. Brock, how you feeling? I haven't asked you how you're feeling today. I was good until the last hole. Plenty of holes left to go. Yeah, you're this still five probably. strokes ahead of the second best player. So I think you're okay. Drew's down there. Hit another tree. Bring it out right, lay it right up there underneath the basket. Really solid par putt on probably the hardest hole on this course. All right, so we're coming back up here with Drew. Actually, my disc ended up really fucking good. I don't know how the fuck it came back over there. So here's Drew's par putt all the way down here. Oh, there we go, try to run it up there. He's laying it up, it got an easy bogey for him. Somehow this is where my disc ended up. I thought I was gonna be way over there. I'm looking at about 25 foot. Come on. 
Backpack cars are the best cars. Get my part. I'll recreate it. There we go. All right, hole number nine. Uh, that is not even remotely close to where the basket is. This one, we got a clearing straight down there. And the basket turns right. It's back here behind these trees. Brock got really close to getting a hole in one on this the other day. All right. You know, he's, he's got a playable shot down there. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can definitely see that. That is the basket right there. It's looking pretty. You know, it kind of went a little too much, but it rolled. It's probably 40 foot from the basket, so it's not bad. No, if I can go. <laughs> you guys are making him nervous, so keep walking. Fuck, you need to be nervous more often. Jesus Christ. I just love how these motherfuckers don't even care about me. Like, I'm just, I just got to film by myself all the time. All right, I banked it off the tree. All right, while these yahoos are looking for the disc, I'm just going to come up here, tap this guy in. There's my first par in a good minute. Shout out to Brody Smith. For the birdie. Yeah. Faded out just a little bit. All right, so we're all ending on pars. Drew finishes with a five over. Five over, yeah. Uh, I finished with a five over. Rock finishes even. That concludes the front nine. I think we're going to try a different video. There's shit falling from trees. I think we're going to try a different video for the... Did you throw that? Yeah. You're a cunt. I think we're going to try a different video for the back nine. How you guys feeling about our first video ever? This is probably the only video he's ever in. I haven't yeah. seen him in seven months. We need to get away from asking how each other are feeling because I don't really give a shit how you guys feel and I'm sure you don't care how I feel. I do care how you feel. That's why I asked. Yeah, you're an asshole. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Get the fucking shit and there's the...